and today we talk about the platycerium bifurcatum. Okay, coming up! This plant comes from Australia and it looks like antlers. That's why it is commonly known as the staghorn fern. There are many varieties of the platycerium. This is the platycerium bifurcatum, but there are other many different ones like this one. This is another type of platycerium. I still don't know the exact type. So if you know, make sure to comment below. As I said, this one looks like antlers. And this is one of the reasons why this plant is stacked on wood. And then people hang it on the wall. Another reason why we can stack these plants on wood is because these are epiphytes, which means that they can get their moisture and nutrients from the air, just like a tilantia. So I'm thinking about stacking this one on wood. And of course, I will show you how to do it. But now let's see how we can keep this beautiful plant very happy at our house. Since this is a kind of fern, we want to provide high levels of humidity. I can tell you we have this one in our bedroom and we have two humidifiers there. So we keep the humidity at about 50 to 60% over there and this one seems to be happy there. So if you live in a place where the air is really dry, this is especially important in the winter when the air becomes really dry, I would recommend that you invest in a humidifier. This will make sure that your platycerium is happy and healthy. As I said, this plant comes from Australia where you generally get very nice temperatures. So ideally we want to keep this plant in a room that is about 23 degrees celsius so in the lower 20s but don't keep them at temperatures that are too high so in the summer it's recommended that we keep it at a temperature of 20 degrees celsius and the lowest that it will take is 13 degrees celsius we also want to make sure that we provide good ventilation for this plant so opening the windows in the summer may be a good idea and just make sure that the air flows by and that the air is not too cold of course the platycerium generally grows on top of the trees, so they get a lot of bright light. However, it will provide intense direct sunlight, the leaves will burn. So we want to provide bright indirect sunlight. Right now in winter, I have my platycerium under a grow light, but I provide it really indirectly. So it receives bright light, but not direct light. And I think in the summer, I'm just gonna bring it back to this room where we have a south facing window, so we'll have lots of bright sunlight for this plant. In terms of water, the platycerium likes moderate watering. So it is recommended that we let the soil dry in between waterings. Not completely dried, but almost completely. So we want to maintain a little bit of moisture at all times, but let the soil dry a little bit in between waterings. And the way that we can know is if you have your platycerium in a pot like this, you can check the soil with your finger. So stick your finger into the soil and if it feels really moist, don't water. But if you feel that it is drying out a little bit, you can water. Remember, we wanna keep the soil moist but not wet. So it is very important that we let the soil dry out in between waterings. And if you have your plant stacked on wood, this usually is also with moss around the roots. All you have to do is to check that the moss has dried out. Once you feel that the moss is dry, you can water. And the method that I recommend to water this plant is the bottom watering method. This is great for this one because as you can see, we have many leaves on the top. So the water is not gonna go all the way down to the roots because the leaves are actually blocking it. So the way that we can do it is actually submerge the plant in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes that way we will get the water into the roots from below and once we're done we can take it out and let the excess water drain down through the drainage holes you can also use the bottom watering method if you have your platycerium stacked on wood once you feel that the moss is dry you can submerge it in water with the wood as well and then take it out and let the excess water drain down in the winter you will notice that it will take longer for the soil to dry out so we just got back on watering these plants don't need so much fertilizer, so I would recommend that you only fertilize during the growing season, which is between spring and summer, with a diluted organic fertilizer, just to make sure that we don't over fertilize our plant. Now, if you have your platycerium stacked on wood or mounted on another surface, fertilizer can also help you to provide some of the nutrients that she needs. Remember, this is an epiphyte, so they will get their nutrients also from the air. So try to dilute the fertilizer as much as possible so you don't over or fertilize your plant. As I said, I really want to stack this one on wood. So let me know if you would like to see a video on that. And as always, I will see you in the next one.
Ok, chao.